Go to the Analysis tab. Build Model Check. The Building Model Check will check for possible modeling errors or mistakes. Since we have already run this process, we will not repeat it. Perform Eigenvalue Analysis. An eigenvalue analysis can be performed as part of the building analysis, in order to calculate natural frequencies and, mode shapes, this will be dependent on story mass and model stiffness. No loading is used in the analysis. The eigenvalue analysis results can then be used for seismic design purposes and can also be a value if wind tunnel tests are required. Refresh the connectivity information of all members. Default is checked, to ensure member connectivity information is updated. Save foundation column slash wall results, for multi-block combined foundation design. This is only required when this project will be imported by another project for combined foundation design. Display analytical model. If this option is checked, the analytical model, and results view will automatically launch once building analysis is successfully complete. For training purposes, let's uncheck this option. Click Building Analysis. The Batch Design Options dialog will appear. It allows you to perform the design of column, wall and beams automatically after the analysis. We advise this should only be done, if you have checked the analysis result thoroughly, otherwise rubbish equals rubbish out. Click OK, without performing any design. The analysis will start. The analysis dialog will appear, recording the different stages of the analysis. The analysis will also automatically check for instability, and large deformations. There may be warning messages if problems are found. The analysis summary report will appear at end of the analysis, summarizing the important results. Click close for this dialog. Close the analysis dialog too. When the analysis is successfully completed, a green tick will appear next to the icon. The analysis date, and time will also be shown, which is a very handy information, to check when was the most recent analysis done. Once analysis is successfully completed, the axial load comparison report will be prepared. Click to view the report. The report will be launched, in separate report review window. In this window, you can print and view the report with the various option at the top ribbon. You can also export the report to PDF, Microsoft Word, various image file format or web format. At the right is the notifications pane. Important messages may be displayed here. Notice that the axial load comparison report show various tables, with figures, for each story, and some of all stories. We will now go through this report in detail. The axial load comparison report, or ALCR, sums all of the dead, and life load applied at each story, and displays the axial forces in the columns, and shear walls. Tables can be cross-checked against each other, to verify load in equals load out. These values need to agree with each other, within a tolerance limit, of 5%. A warning will given if exceeded, after the analysis. A high discrepancy means there may be loads missing. This may be due to modeling errors, example unsupported columns. You should investigate thoroughly, if there's any missing loads. Go back to the model to take corrective action. Rerun analysis. Recheck the ALCR report. Table 1, is the total loads, based on slabs. It is the sum of applied loads on slabs, applied loads on beams and member self-weight. In short, it is the input loads, based on what is modeled. You can take this as the correct dead, and life load of the model, provided you have entered the loadings as intended. Table 2, is the total loads, after slab load decomposition to beam. It is the sum of slab loads decomposed onto beams, other applied loads on beams, and member self-weights. The slab's values are all zero, in this table, as the slab loads are calculated onto the supporting beams. Some of slabs loads are also calculated to the walls, as the walls are also supporting some slabs. Table 3, is building analysis column, and wall axial loads. Axial loads of columns and walls are obtained from building analysis result. They are summed for each story. Axial loads are always accumulative, 
that is cumulative of the current story and all stories above it. Delta G or Q, is simply the cumulative axial load of the current story minus the story above it. This is equivalent of the individual story weight. Total base reaction shown, should be the same, as the total sum of axial loads, in the table. For beam, and slab model, tables 1, 2, and 3 should agree. Firstly, check sum table 2 equals table 1. If table 2 is less than table 1, slab loads are lost, or missing. Compare values for each story, to find out which story is the problem. Example, slabs may not be supported properly by beams. You can check on the plan view, whether yield line is drawn correctly for slabs. Try using finite element load decomposition. If table 2 is more than table 1, slab load calculation is more than expected, hence conservative. However, if the difference is significant, then you should also go back to your model to investigate. Lastly, check sum if table 3 is equal, or close, to table 2. If table 3 is less than table 2, column and wall loads are lost. For example, beams may not be supported by columns properly, or the other way round, the columns are hanging in the air. Similarly, check values of each story, to identify the culprit story. If table 3 is more than table 2, the axial loads are more than expected, and hence conservative. However, if the difference is significant, then you should also go back to your model to investigate. Close the axial load comparison report window, to proceed.